Hello friends, welcome back in my another series of video tutorial. So if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, kindly subscribe to it so that the notifications of my upcoming new tutorial could reach out to you on time. So friends, in today's video, we will learn the dynamic left and right function using VBA. But first of all, I will do it by Excel formula and then we will write the dynamic VBA code. So let's get started. As you can see in this screen, I have some mobile numbers with country codes. And my requirement is to extract the mobile numbers only. So I am using a function which is right. I will give the reference of this one and I will be picking the 10 number of characters from this from the right hand side. As you everybody know, uh, the you know mobile number contains 10 digits in India. So if I hit enter, I am getting my result. But guys, the problem is with topic number two, I have some names here, employee names here. So if I need to pick the names from left hand side and if I am hard coding the number of characters like Ravi, there are four characters in Ravi, four numbers like one, two, three, four. So if I give four here, I am getting Ravi. But if I will drag this formula, I am only getting A N J A. However, I should have got A N J A N A. So if I will drag this formula, I will never ever get my correct result. So how to tackle this situation? I am telling you, those who do not know how to use an excel based formula to extract the first name and last name uh, can learn this through this video okay so i am using left function giving the reference of this one then i will use find function in order to find the space between ravi and shukla so i am finding space it's asking for the uh, you know the syntax is saying within text means in which text I am looking for this particular space. So I will give the reference of same cell then the number of space means it is there on first position. So and I will deduct one from it so that it uh, you know uh, it may not contain the space. Now hit enter. I am getting Ravi now drag this formula throughout the way so by this way i have got my result accurately if i want to extract the last name which are there on my right hand side so i will use another dynamic excel formula which is right i will give the reference of this one then I will calculate the total length of this text and will subtract the space from it like this. Now hit enter and drag this formula. So guys, by this way, you can extract the first name and last name very easily. So this was all about a manual Excel based formula. But if I need to write the same through my Excel, you know, through the VBA coding. So how will we write this? So I am going to developer tab, taking one command button from here. You may, uh, you know, you may choose, uh, means you can write your code in a module as well. So I am going inside and writing the code so first of all guys uh, i am declaring some of the variables in order to get my 
result so deem i as integer because i would be you know running a loop here then deem w as as worksheet i have defined a variable and now i will define my worksheet through set keyword w as t means sheets topic topic 2 now guys i will define one last row here so i am saying wst dot cells rows dot count comma 3 because all my values are there on third column so i am writing 3 here and excel up dot row now i will say for i equals to since my data is getting started from third row so i will say 3 to last row this loop will run from third row to last row and this is the dynamic code guys if tomorrow my data gets increased it will work till there now i will have to write my code for left and right so i'm saying i am supposed to get my answer let's say uh let me replicate this here in other cells so i need my excel based vba based output here on h and i column so let me just check so this is eighth this is ninth this is eighth column this is ninth so i am saying i comma a the value the value which i am expecting on i comma 8 is left and here in this left i would be putting in the values which are there on uh on third column okay then i will say worksheet function dot find and here what we are looking for is we are looking for this space where in this particular cell comma 1 minus 1 so this is the function for left for your convenience i am writing it here left function and here i am using the right function so i am saying the value on i comma 9 should be right so in right i would be putting in the same value which is there on i comma 3 okay then i will say length and i would be putting in this same syntax there now i am subtracting the find means subtract function dot find let me just copy this which i have mentioned already mentioned here and this time i do not require this one now i will close my loop i and let me check if it's giving me the correct output so i just want to run it one by one so guys let's see and for doing this i am pressing f8 key 
you can see it has given me ravi here and shukla so let's run it so guys you can see i have got the same result through my vb as well so let me just remove this and click on this button so you know here you have used this function but in vba these are giving you the values only but there is no difference between the output which is there by excel formula and by vba based formula so guys i hope you have found this video useful for your day to day work and if this video is liked by you so give me a thumb guys thumb up and subscribe to this channel this is my request to you kindly support guys as of now i am signing off bye bye take care and jai hind guys